know, I have to say, when I moved here 15 some years ago, uh, I realized that there was no safe place in this county for abandoned, neglected cats. There was nowhere for them to go. They either went to the county shelter where they were euthanized pretty much within days, or they were left to starve to death on the streets. So uh, myself and three of my friends uh, decided to do something about that. Here we are. Yes, actually, uh, it was the first day that I came just to look at the shelter, and I went in and uh, walked into a cage, and this cat immediately jumped up on my lap put its little paws over my arm and purred for 20 minutes. Picked him up the next time. When I get here every day, uh, they're so happy, these cats, to see us. You can, you can see it in their eyes, in their body language, and that's what keeps us coming back every day. There was a, a lady that uh, lived in Waynesville and had a, a cat that she had to leave behind. And she realized she made a huge mistake. Is there any way that Fur can help get my cat, Cookie, back to me? So I volunteered. It was a great trip. Um, drove Cookie to Atlanta, flew nonstop to Seattle, and then from Seattle to Spokane, Washington, and into the arms of a uh, loving, loving mom, uh, Deborah. So Cookie and Deborah are now uh, uh, a great first story and uh, we reunited them and we're just overwhelmed and happy that that happened. We have a lot of areas that we really could use help in beyond just volunteering at the sanctuary. We need folks that are good in communications that can help us with press releases. We would really like to find some uh, dedicated fundraising people. Um, if we can just find folks that only have a few hours a week they can come and socialize with cats or help groom the cats or do vet visits. There's always something that needs to be done at the shelter.